Hey everyone, in today's video, I'll walk you through how to get the cleanest, most stable and fastest software experience on your Samsung Galaxy device. I'm using the Galaxy S9 for this demo, but this will work for the Galaxy S9 Plus, Galaxy Note 9, Galaxy S10 series, Galaxy A series and a few Samsung tabs as well. You can find the full list of supported devices in the link I've included in the description below. Just be sure to download the correct ROM file for your device from the website or the links I've provided. We're going to install Lineage OS a super popular ROM that transforms your phone into a pixel-like experience. Imagine saying goodbye to all that annoying bloatware and having your device run as smooth as silk. With these steps, you can upgrade to either Android 13 or Android 14 Lineage OS. But before we jump in, make sure you have these things ready. A Galaxy device with at least 50% battery, a USB cable to connect your phone to your PC, and a PC with internet access to download the necessary files. Yes, this method should work on nearly all Samsung phones listed on the Lineage OS website, but for now, we'll concentrate on the Galaxy S9 for this demonstration. Before we move on to the first step, ensure all your important data is backed up, as this process will erase everything on your device. Now the step one is to download the necessary files. First, grab the SDK tools. Visit the link provided to download the suitable SDK tools for your system, whether it's Windows, Mac, or Linux. Once there, accept the terms and begin the download. Next up, you'll need the Samsung Android USB drivers. These drivers are essential for your computer to recognize your device. Then, get your hands on the Samsung Odin tool. This tool is what you'll use to install the custom recovery. Don't forget about the G apps, the compatible Google Apps package. Depending on whether you're opting for Android 13 or Android 14, you will be choosing the correct package of Google Apps. Like in my case, I am choosing this one to download. Also, make sure to download the 7-zip installer as well. This software will come in handy for handling compressed files. Lastly, grab the Lineage OS ROM file. Head over to the Lineage OS website and select the ROM file for your specific device model. Whether it's a Galaxy S9, S9 Plus, Note 9, or any other device from the Galaxy series you have, it must be one of these options listed here. So click on your device here and download these three required files from the website. Remember, this ROM for Galaxy S9 on the Lineage OS website is based on Android 13. But if you're keen on installing Android 14, you'll need to download the ROM files from the provided SourceForge link. But just a heads up, as you can guess from the ROM package name, this isn't an official version, so go with it only if you know what you're getting yourself into. Alright, now let's get everything sorted and prepared. First, install the Samsung USB drivers. If you haven't done this already, make sure to install them so your computer can recognize your device properly. Next, install 7-zip. This tool will help us handle compressed files. Now, let's extract the platform tools file. Unzip it, delete the zipped file to keep things tidy, and move on to the next step. After that, extract the Odin file. Unzip it, and once again, delete the zipped file to maintain a clean workspace. Next, we need to convert the recovery file to TAR format. Right-click on the recovery file. Navigate to 7-zip and select Add to Archive. Choose TAR as the archive format and press OK. You can now delete the original recovery file since it's no longer needed. Now let's prepare the ROM and G apps files. Copy the Mind the G apps and Lineage OS ROM files into the Platform Tools folder. Rename the Lineage OS ROM file to From for Samsung for easier identification and rename the Mind the GApps file to GApps for simplicity. Finally, run Odin. Open the folder where Odin is extracted and launch the Odin application. In Odin, click on AP, navigate to the folder where you saved the TAR file and select it. After opening the TAR file, go to the Options tab in Odin and uncheck the Auto Restart option. Once you have completed these steps, you'll be ready to proceed with the installation of Lineage OS on your Samsung Galaxy device. Before we continue, please take a moment to consider subscribing to this channel. My subscriber count is still growing, and it would mean a lot to have you join me. So if you enjoy this content, please hit that subscribe button. Great, thank you. Once you've completed these steps, you'll be ready to proceed with the installation of Lineage OS on your Galaxy S9 series phone. Now hold on here for a second and take your mobile phone. Make sure you have installed all of the software updates available on the stock ROM and that your phone battery is well charged. Now the next step is to enable developer options and OEM unlocking. To do this, open settings, go to about phone, then software information and tap on the build number 7 times to enable developer options. After that, go back to the settings menu, choose developer options, scroll down and enable OEM unlocking and USB debugging. Now take your data cable and your laptop. 
Turn off your phone. Once it's powered down, press the Bixby power button and volume down keys together. When the download mode appears on the screen, press the volume up key to continue. Connect your phone to your laptop. Odin should detect your device, as shown here, indicating you're ready to flash the recovery file we imported earlier. So, click Start, and within a few seconds, the process should complete, displaying the message, Pass. Now from here, to boot into the recovery we just installed, press all the keys at once. Keep pressing until you see the Samsung logo, then immediately release the volume down key to enter recovery mode. Great job! We're now inside the Lineage OS recovery. Now watch closely. Click on Factory Reset and format all the data on the phone. Then click on Apply Update and select Apply from ADB. Switch back to your laptop screen. Go into the Platform Tools folder. Right-click in the blank area, click on Show More Options and choose Open in Terminal. Now, pay attention, type ADB Devices and press Enter. You should see some text under List of Devices Attached. Next, type ADB Sideload ROM for Samsung.zip and press Enter. Remember, ROM for Samsung is the Lineage OS ROM file we renamed earlier. After pressing Enter, the ROM will start flashing. Give it some time, it should be done in a few minutes. You should see the text Install completed with error 0, indicating the procedure was successful. Once done, go back to the menu, press Advanced, and reboot into recovery. Next, we need to flash the G apps. Again, click Apply Update and select Apply from ADB. Then, in the command window, type ADB Sideload G apps and press Enter. The flashing process will start again, and within a few minutes, you'll be back to the recovery screen. You should see the text Install completed with error 0, indicating success. If you don't see this message, it means your gapps package wasn't appropriate. So to fix that error with the gapps, visit this video's description and try out other solutions by downloading the correct version of gapps. After that, click on Reboot System Now. This will take no more than 5 minutes and you'll reach the welcome screen. Once you are there, go ahead with the generic setup steps and enjoy your super smooth software experience with this custom ROM. Now, if you want to see how this ROM compares to the original stock ROM, then let me be straight. There isn't much difference in Geekbench scores, as you can see here, but there's a significant improvement in user experience, which is what really matters. This custom ROM is quite stable and I haven't encountered any major glitches or stutters. I'm pretty happy with it. Now, if you install it, please share your findings in the comments below so others can benefit from your thoughts. Lastly, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. This is Khan, signing off.